Top of the morning! I just came from Lake Elsinore and today our breakfast is at Penfolds Cafe and Bakery. It looks so busy. I'm coming here and everyone is just going here. So I'm like, well, would there be a queue? Let's find out. Is the wait list? Um, you'll be the fourth on the wait list. What's your favorite <laughs> breakfast here? Yeah. It would either be the pencil omelet or our breakfast tacos. Those are my favorite. You look having fun with this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I was told she ordered just biscuits and gravy because they're really good. I'm about to partake on this Penfolds omelet. It has bacon, sausage, onion, tomatoes, jack and cheddar cheese, smothered with country gravy. It's rich and delicious. I can taste the freshly diced onions, the fresh tomatoes. The cheese is just Wow, excellent. And the gravy, they're right about their country gravy. It's pretty good. And let's go try now the hash brown. It seems overcooked, but I think it's really how they make it. Mmm, definitely crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear myself. Great, let's try their biscuits and gravy. We know for sure that the country gravy is good, and now we're gonna try the biscuit itself. It's kind of peppery. A bit of a strong taste. Maybe not for kids, but I like it. Do you know for sure that it's freshly baked? I know they have this competitor, um, Annie's, uh, which I tried in Elsinore. If you want to see the best places to eat in Elsinore, I did a video for that. I highly recommend it. Later on, we're gonna try some wineries and local recommendations for best places to eat here. So keep on watching. Historic 395. <laughs> Shoulder. Yeah! <laughs> I'm at Front Street right now. This is their main street and it looks like it's part of historic route California US 395 which dates back since 1926. So can you imagine like horses back in the days coming along this road? What did you get? I got the um, an iced latte with oat milk. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Nice. Mm. It smells delicious here. You know how there's always like this antique scent every time you enter an antique shop? Well, this one is different. It's on the 4th Street. It definitely has this amazing scent that I might just stay here the whole day. It's also very refreshing over here. <laughs> Let's check out their stuff. Oh, look at this. Like, oh, five bucks. Okay, this is definitely a fake Chanel. This is the cutest thing in the world. 30 bucks for this pair. This is so pretty. Like, every corner is different and themed. DIY. Temecula's first inhabitants are the Temecula Indians in the 1800s and then Spanish missionaries came in the 1900s. The Vale family bought it somewhere in the 1900s too. They're from Nova Scotia. The Vale family bought massive ranch lands in this area. They also helped built the first bank and then they also built a dam. As you can see today, Temecula has grown and continuously growing. What's going on? So pretty! Oh no, no, it's just a cold. Oh, very friendly for dogs. This smells delicious right here. How's the coffee? So good. Oh, this is my favorite. Seriously. Okay. Butterscotch. Shake and cold brew. Temecula lavender. You can smell it from the outside. It's a lavender pepper. Okay, it 
strong at first. Don't super smell it. Wow, it smells really, really good. Amazing. Wow. I love matcha. Okay, this place is adorable. Because we like pink in this Roses are tips, violets are tips, please give us tips, tips. Money is the root of all evil. Test yourself here, tips. Anything you see pretty much can be iced or hot. We have a variety of baked goods and we have four different kinds of uh, macarons. Is that so pretty? <laughs> What is it? Pineapple. Go with. I'm a bad person. <laughs> There's like nice water music and like birds chirping, and it smells so good. There's definitely a lot to do here at the Old Town. If you like shopping, then they'll say two hours, and then you're dining, and then what if you just want to drink, then I guess you can spend the whole day here somehow, huh? Temecula Valley Wine County, Old Town Temecula, the Temecula Valley Balloon and Wine Festival, the Temecula Valley International Film Festival, Championship Golf Courses, and Resort Accommodations. This Boko Rojo. Monastro. Cheers! Very bold. It's just really smooth. That's the way I like it. This is the Goru Gold. This is strong. My favorite would be probably the Monastro. We end up going to a bowling place. Everyone's here. The whole parking lot is full. We played some arcade games, which is really fun because we didn't know they have arcade games here. You got it! You got it! Oh! Oh! He gets the time! Woo! Yeah, that was it! That was it! Woo! Someone's so happy! <laughs> Temecula is actually known for great sunset and wineries so we have to find a great sunset right? I looked everywhere and everything almost all wineries closes at 6. It's towards the end of September right now so the sunset is not till 6.30 p.m. and Miramonte is the only place that closes at 7 p.m. It closes at 7 p.m. unlike the rest that closes at 6 p.m. so that's a plus for me. Their burrata is really good. Be no therapist, there's nothing like, nothing like wine. closer to downtown San Diego but it's still considered part of the greater Los Angeles. The reason people like ours is because it's a dryer Chardonnay style so it's actually aged in stainless steel and French oak barrels so you might find a little bit of butteriness in it not too fruity.
enjoy this video please let me know if you have comments suggestions and sorry to tell down below see you next time and off I go no therapist there's nothing like nothing like wine